for on and everything. Well, good morning and welcome to the English Language School. We are very happy to have you here. How about that rain? Were you here in San Antonio last night? The rain was horrible. It was so loud and heavy. I drove home maybe nine, eight, nine, and I heard the rain. Very heavy, very strong. And then when I got home, there was hail, hail. Do you know what hail is? Do you have a question about hail? I don't see your comments here, but if, oh, here I is. God, my hair looks crazy. You know why my hair looks crazy? Because I went outside yesterday <laughs> and I had to cover my cars with blankets to stop the hail from breaking my windows. Hail is the, balls of ice that fall sometimes in a storm. Okay, so enough of this funny business chit chat. If you have any questions or you want to send a message, let me see, open up the chat. Ah, here you are. Hello, Joe. Did you get any hail, Joe? I'm very curious about this. I need to know who got hail. Um, if you have any questions, uh, put them below in the chat. I have the chat open so we can answer your questions. Today we will talk about and review there was, there were, there will be, and in the future there will be. Also, we are going to talk about prepositions in, at, on, and other prepositions like under, over, behind. Are you ready? First, I want us to practice the pronunciation of the regular verbs in the past tense with the ED pronunciation. All right, are we ready? Good morning, Miss Lilibeth. Good morning. All right. Are we past almost tense, ready? Past tense, regular verbs. Ah. Listening and pronunciation with Christy Reyes from Miracosta College. Okay, so hold on just a second. Pronunciation, ED can be pronounced ED, in the following ways. T. The ED has the pronunciation of ED, T, D, and ID. We have those three pronunciations. So for example, maybe you have a word like want. Want is in the present. We're talking about something that is normal. And if I talk about it in the past, I will use the word wanted. Mm -hmm. Wanted. Now, wanted, maybe I have a word like talk or work. Very important word, work work in the present. In the past, is it worked? It's worked. Worked. The ED will sound like the letter T. T, -t, -t. Worked. Worked. So now we will practice that pronunciation of the ED. The ED pronounced as T the ed pronounced as d and then in the class on monday we will practice the ed pronounced as id mm? yeah all right we ready 
just the first two sounds. First, the ED pronounced as t. Excuse our noise. D, it. First, ed pronounced as t, 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 t. Announced, asked, baked, balanced, brushed, developed, dressed, dropped, faxed, fixed, fixed hopped, hoped, impressed, increased, influenced, introduced, liked, locked, missed, packed, parked, passed, practiced, produced, promised, reduced, relaxed, replaced, searched, stopped, talked, washed, Watched, watched, worked, worked. E D pronounced as d. Allowed, amused, analyzed. This is the sound of the E D pronounced as d. E D pronounced as d. We're going to see the letters E, D, and we're going to hear D, D, D. So, as in aloud. This one is the most common. It's the most popular and the most common, the one you will hear the most aloud, amused. The sound of the video is a little bit slower today, so I want you to practice the pronunciation with the video, okay? Annoyed, answered, Can you take me off? apologized, appeared, approved, Argued, arranged, arrived, belonged, boiled, borrowed, burned, called, carried, caused, changed, cleaned, closed. Complained, concerned, confused, considered, contained, continued, copied, covered, damaged, delivered, described, deserved, destroyed. Disagreed, disappeared, discovered, emptied, enjoyed, entered, examined, excused, exercised, explained, filed, filled, fired, followed, Formed, fried, happened, hurried, identified, ignored, imagined, improved, informed, learned, lied, listened, lived, managed, Measured, moved, observed, offered, opened, ordered, owed, owned, paused, planned, played, 
preferred, pulled, reined, raised, realized, received, recognized, refused, remained, remembered, removed, repaired, served, shared, signed, stayed, supplied, supposed, surprised, tied, typed, used, worried. ED pronounced as id. Applauded, appreciated. Arrest. All right, so now let's practice. We will go to our PowerPoint and we can practice the forms of there is and there are in the present, in the past, and in the future. Are we ready? If you remember, we talk about there is. For example, there is coffee in my coffee cup. Or there are beautiful students in the class today. There are wonderful students in the class today. We can use there is if it is singular, only one. Or we will use there are if it is plural. You have two or three or more. Okay, so now what do you do if you have only one but it's in the past? Or if you have only one and it's in the future? What is our vocabulary word? Is in the past tense is the word was. Was. You got me? Poop. My girl. Is in the past is the word was. Was. So there is in the past will be there was. There was. There are in the past tense will be there were. Mm -hmm. Now, what about for the future? What do we do when we have there is singular for the future? This one is easy because it is the same for both. There is in the future is there will be. There will be. If you look at the screen to your right, you will see the present, the past, and the future. There will be. Mm -hmm. So for example, we have class on Monday. There will be b class on monday also we have homework for this weekend there will be homework this weekend 
there will be an email tomorrow. I will send an email with your homework after class. There will be an email with your homework and there will be homework tomorrow. To use the terms there will be, we need for singular, only one, or for plural, if I've got two or three. For the past, it's there was, for example, there was a storm yesterday. What is a storm? Can you put that in the, type that in the bottom? I want to see. Do you guys know what a storm is? What is a storm? Hmm. Hi, cool. I didn't know I could do that. A storm can be something like, A storm can be something like um, when you have rain and wind and thunder and lightning. Very dramatic. This is called a storm. Hey, Miss Virginia, what is the word for storm in Spanish? Tormenta. Tormenta. That sounds about right. In Spanish, the word is tormenta for a storm. That sounds correct because storms, escucha horrible, storms sound terrible and they are so dramatic when you have a storm. Okay, so yesterday there was a storm. There was a storm. Maybe, mm, maybe I have one problem. There was a problem yesterday. There was a problem yesterday. But for maybe I had two problems, and this is true, I did have two problems, big problems. So there were problems yesterday. There were problems yesterday. Because I have two, I will use the word were. There were problems yesterday. To practice the there is and there were, we will have a quiz. But before we do that, let's move on to our prepositions. Okay, are we ready? Cool. Prepositions of place. Mm -hmm. The first one is behind. Can you practice the word for me? Behind. Mm -hmm. Behind. I've got something behind. I'm physically behind me. Behind. All right, next word. In front of. In front of. What is in front of me? You cannot see it, but I have my coffee in front of me. Okay, next. Next to. This one is great. Next to means it's close in my general area near me. The word next to is equal to the word near. Mm -hmm. Next, between. Between is equal to in the middle of. Okay, so for example, I am in the middle of my brother and my sister. I am 
between my brother and my sister. Between. Next. Up near. Near. Remember, next to and near are equal. You can use both near and next to. So, for example, I am near my coffee because my coffee is next to me. Okay? Above. 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 Mm, there is a light above my head. Above. Or the sun is above us all. The next one is below. Mm, maybe my hand is below my coffee. Below. Next. In, always my example with my cafecito, is I have coffee in my coffee cup. Or maybe we are in the room. I am in my car. In Spanish, the word can be como dentro. Tengo café dentro mi taza. Estoy dentro de mi coche o carro. I'm inside or in my car. Okay, next one. Last one, on. Do you see that the ball is on the box in the picture? Usually, like we talked in the class before, on is when you have something flat, a flat surface. For example, de nuevo con mi cafecito, right? Is if the table no, is flat, my coffee is on the table. Or maybe, uh, oof, my glasses are on my face. Or if I have a face mask, I will put my mask on. Next one will be, so let's just review again. Behind, in front of, next to, between, near, above, below, in, and on. Okay? Let's take a look at the next slide. We have a quiz of prepositions of place, do we? We do. We're so excited. <laughs> I see. The quiz on the prepositions of place. Now, you. Yes. Miss Virginia is going to put her code for the quiz. Pull up your quiz maybe on your computer or your phone at kahoot.it. Kahoot.it. There will be, thank you ma'am, there will be a number, a six digit number, and you enter in your number. So click the link kahoot.it and the number is, did you put in kahoot.it? I don't see it here. Yeah, put the link in. Oops. We're sorry about the noise. The sound is on. It's eight zero eight six three seven zero. 
That's eight zero eight six three seven zero. Okay. Remember, go to Kahoot, K H O O T, K H A O O T dot I T, and put in your code for. Yeah, very good. So click the link that's below, and eight zero eight six three seven zero. Hmm. All right. We're waiting for everybody to join. I think we have five people, um, five students, but when everybody is in, we will start the quiz. All right, we got Leila. Carlita, hi. Vicky. <laughs> Vicky. <laughs> All right. Quien más? Quien más? Quien más? Quien más? Got three. Kelly. Kelly. Student. Your student. Yeah. Vicky. That's. Estamos esperando para Kelly, ¿no? Welcome. Ah, yeah, with the noise before. Okay. All right. Oh, hi, Kelly. Just click on the link. It's, it's acá. It's in Mr. Ran put it up in the comment section. So you see. Uh, okay, perfect. Do you see the link, Kelly? We will wait for you. All right. Hello, Lorena. Good morning. All right, Lorena, are you going to join the Kahoot? Kahoot is the name of the quiz. All right. Kelly is saying that she no puede entrar. Puedes ponerle código de nuevo, por favor. No, six three seven zero. Aquí. Ah, ya. Yeah. Okay. They're saying that they can't enter. Mm. It's open. It's like open, but did they enter the wrong code or something? I'm not sure. I don't know. El código es correcto y también Kahoot IT. See? Yeah. Code. Uh, yeah. Try the code again. Try in intentan de nuevo porque sería que trabajar. So, yeah, I'll try that. Aki. Yeah, try that. All right, intentamos una vez más. Aki está. Next if I see it by
Bueno. Podemos continuar con oh, they can give me answers in the chat. Yeah, okay. podemos continuar con el, um, el juego y por las las respuestas por Lorena y Kelly uh, pueden poner uh, tus respuestas aquí en el chat. Okay? All right. Vamos. Let's start. All right. Now, we have prepositions of place. The prepositions de lugar, right? We have prepositions of place. Mm -hmm. The books are the table. The books are the table. What is the correct word? In, into, onto, on. Hmm. Vamos a checar el código la siguiente vez. All right. Kelly says on. Lorena says on. Hmm? ¿Por qué on? Why do you think on? Okay, let's check. Perfect. We've got three people, right? Yes. And Kelly and Lorena are correct. It is on. Because the table is flat, we use on. Smart students today. All right. Let's look at question number two. Mm -hmm. My cat is, what is it? Sitting your dog. Mm, this is a good one. My cat is sitting your dog. I love dogs. Okay, what should it be? Into, next to, on, or onto? Make your answer in the Kahoot or type your answer here in the chat. Forget the name for it. Chat. Mm -hmm. What a cute puppy. I love dogs so much. My cat is sitting your dog. Yeah. Yeah? Did everybody get it right? Fabulous next to, next to, because they're close together, therefore next to. Excellent job, Kelly, beautiful. All right, let's take a look at question number three. Okay, the ball is the square. Mm. The ball is the square, okay? In, into, on, onto. onto. Got quite fuzzy. Okay, type in the chat, what do you think the answer is? In, into, on, onto. The ball is the square. Wow, good job, guys. It is in. Why is it in? Because it's inside. Absolutely beautiful. All right. Next one. Ooh, now we have two to choose. Okay. My hat is my house, my 
table. Thank you. My hat is my house, my table. Oof. Challenge. Okay. Are the two prepositions in, in, on, in, on, on, or in, on? Oof. Challenge. In, in, on, in, on, on, or in, on. Okay. This is a level two question for sure. Okay, so think you have two things. You have a house. Did everybody get it right? Yes. Oh my gosh, y'all are so brilliant. What do I do? is on on in my house on my table in my house and on my table all right we ready the boy is hiding hiding the bed ooh this one's a good one too the boy is hiding the bed Ooh. All right, what do we think it is? Next to, behind, below, or on? Yes, ma'am. Excellent, Kelly. Excellent, Kelly. Is below because he's below the bed. He's hiding. It's a secret. Hiding below the bed. Beautiful, Lorena. Beautiful. All right. Because the boy is below the bed, he's below the bed. All right. Let's take a look at question number six. I think it's question number six. Sarah says, tension. <laughs> There's a bird, the cat, <laughs> how funny. There's a bird, the cat. imaginar. Can you imagine a bird sitting on top of a cat like that? There's a bird, the cat. There's a bird, the cat. Okay, so the cat's got a head and the bird is here. Should it be below? next to, on, or between, below, next to, on, or between. Yes, ma'am, Kelly, excellent, on, on. Yes, ma'am, most excellent, on. The cat, the bird, there's a bird on the cat. Good job, everybody got it right. Got some smart students. All right, okay. Annie is Annie, I love that name, Annie is Sitting, Susan, the couch. You remember from yesterday, couch and sofa are equal. You can say couch, you can say sofa. Annie is sitting, Susan, the couch. All right, so now we have two. Is it on, on, on next to, next to on? or next to in? When you have a couch, what are you? In the couch? On the couch? At the couch? What do you think it is? This one's a level two question for sure. This is a proper logro, a proper challenge. Poco, poquito difícil, pero son muy inteligentes. Mm -hmm. Casi. 
¿Estás listo? Ok, almost. Kelly, do you have an answer? Ooh. This one was para nivel 2. This was a good high level 2. Era un poquito difícil. On and next to. Sí, Lorena. Yes, that is perfect. Thank you. Excellent. So, Lorena answered on and next to. Annie is sitting next to Susan on the couch. Why? Because Susan is here next to Annie and both of the women, women, cuando es mujeres plural, women, both of the women are on the couch. No están dentro, they're not inside, they're on top of the couch. Okay, so that was a pretty tricky one. Annie is sitting next to Susan on the couch. Okay. <laughs> Good job, Carlita. All right, we're on our last one. Ooh, the blue car is the red car. The blue car is the red car. Mm -hmm. Behind, in front of, below, above. Behind, in front of, below, above. Ooh. What do you think it is? What is it, the blue car? That is bright blue. The blue car is the red car. The blue car is in front, or is the blue car behind? Yes, ma'am. Beautiful, Carlita. Beautiful. Yes, Miss Kelly. It is behind. The blue car is behind the red car. It's not in front. It is behind. I have a black screen behind me. Beautiful. All right, we're waiting on a couple of people to answer. All right, we're split. Okay. When you have something we say in front, mm -hmm. yes, ma'am, Miss Lorena, if you have something in front, you can see it. For example, beautiful Miss Doran and Miss Evie are in front of me. I can see them. They are in front of me. I have a wall. ¿Cómo se dice wall? All right, pared, pared, aprende nuevas palabras hoy, pared. I have a wall, un pared, abajo, no, detrás, detrás de mí, behind me. I have a wall behind me. In front, puedes ver, in front you can see but behind you cannot see. All right, everybody worked hard. That was like some challenging questions today. It was pretty challenging. All right, so now if we have time, we can look at the reading for today. We only have about 15 minutes left. Okay, are we ready? We will read we will read the article one time, we'll listen one time, 
And then after we listen and after we read the article, we will do the sentence structure, okay? Okay, do you have any questions? Any questions with the prepositions? I will be looking to see if you have some questions below. If you do, let me know. All right. Oh, yes, thank you for reminding me. She's so beautiful. We have homework today. So tenemos tarea para hoy. Well, pues, por este fin de semana. We have homework for this weekend. Han checado por the classroom? Have you guys checked for the classroom? Puse, uh, envié una mensaje con un link para checar por tarea y todo. If you have not received your email, si no han recibido de email, de correo, me envías de un pones aquí in the comment below section so that we can send you your email para hacer la tarea. So if you have not received it, if you have not received it yet, put your email below and we will. Okay, yeah, see, Devi, Devi Kelly, I saw you yesterday. <laughs> So if you have not, connect with us online. That way you can see your email and you can watch past lessons from previous classes. Okay? All right. Are we ready? Thank you. Ah, yeah. Y we will add extra homework for the students who need to practice especially with the preposition. So no pre se preocupan si tienen problemas o era un poquito difícil, vamos a dinar más tarea extra para practicar especialmente con los preposiciones. Okay? All right, are we ready? Thank you, Ms. Lorena. Can somebody write down Ms. Lorena's? You're the best, bless you. All right, let's Read. Watching television is entertaining. Sam loved watching television. He watched it all the time. He watched it in the morning. He watched it in the afternoon. He watched it in the evening. He loved watching it late at night. The television was always on in Sam's house. There's always something to watch on television. Sam watched cartoons. Sam watched the news. Sam watched Sports. Sam watched documentaries. I love documentaries. Sam watched movies. Sam watched sitcoms. Sitcoms were his favorite to watch. Watching television can be good for you. Watching television is relaxing. Watching television is informing. Watching television can bring people together. Sam liked watching television with friends. Sam recorded television shows. He had a device that would record shows. Sam recorded all his favorite shows. He re-watched them all the time. Sam had many recordings. Sam wants to be an actor. He wants to appear on television. It is his dream. Okay. Before we listen to the audio, 
I want to review a few words and points. First, this reading is totally in the past. Está totalmente en pasado. Entonces, estuvimos practicando el ED, pronunciation de watched, watched, watched. The ED pronunciation. We see the word watch, watched, or loved. Mm -hmm. But we hear d, 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 loved. Loved? No. Loved. Watch? Watched? No. Watched. And you notice you see the word was. Was because it's in the past. There was. Mm -hmm. Now, first is that everything is in the past. I want you this weekend to practice to read this story again. Practice to read and practice to say the words in the past tense with the past tense pronunciation. Also, I want you to practice the past tense pronunciation of the verb, the words with the ED pronunciation. Watched, loved. Mm -hmm. All right, let's listen to the audio. Okay, we'll put the volume up and we'll play it again. No problem. Thank you for asking. Watching television is entertaining. Sam loved watching television. He watched it all the time. He watched it in the morning. He watched it in the afternoon. He watched it in the evening. He loved watching it late at night. The television was always on in Sam's house. There's always something to watch on television. Sam watched cartoons. Sam watched the news. Sam watched sports. Sam watched documentaries. Sam watched movies. Sam watched sitcoms. Sitcoms were his favorite to watch. Watching television can be good for you. Watching television is relaxing. Watching television is informing. Watching television can bring people together. Sam liked watching television with friends. Sam recorded television shows. He had a device that would record shows. Sam recorded all his favorite shows. He re-watched them all the time. Sam had many recordings. Sam wants to be an actor. He wants to appear on television. It is his dream. All right. Thank you very much. All right. 
Kelly, that is an excellent question. What are sitcoms? Okay, so first, the word sitcom, sitcom is singular, but with the S at the end is sitcoms, sitcoms. And when you ask, there you go. Mr. Ran has put in the bottom the, of the comments the question, what are sitcoms? When you ask a question, que significa o que es, when you want to know what is, you have to ask it first with your WH. What? Que? And then after your verb to be is o es in Spanish. In Spanish, this word is que es. Que es eso? What is that? In English, the question is, what is that? Sitcoms. So for the question is, ¿cuáles son sitcoms? What are sitcoms? What are sitcoms? If you have a question about a word in this reading or anything like that, ask the question like this, what is and tell me what you want to know. And yes, Mr. Ran gave some examples in the link, in the comment section. Sitcoms are TV shows that are funny, like comedy. Usually, they're shows, and usamos, we use the word show and series equal. Show. Hannah Montana, Friends, ah, oh, me gusta mucho de Friends, I love Friends, or Malcolm in the Middle. Todos esos son ejemplos de sitcoms, sitcoms, or maybe, mm-hmm, the word shows and the word series is equal. Mm -hmm. All right. What are some of your favorite sitcoms? For me, I love the show How I Met Your Mother. I love Friends. I love The Office. Love The Office. Yeah, that's a lot of American humor. Que muy americano. I love The Office. Que mas. What other sitcoms are there? All right. See, look, it's The Office. Excellent choices. Look at that. Boom. Parks and Recreation. Very good sitcoms. They don't make good sitcoms no more. Everybody loves Raymond. And that's American humor, too. All right, so let's take the quiz on the sentence structure. We have not done this in a while, so I expect you all will do very well. Uh, we have several words, and I want you to put the words in the correct order, the one that makes the most sense, okay? We have the word is. Television is watching entertaining. Oof. This is some level two. This is some level two business. This is very good. Is watching in television is watching entertaining. All right, my beautiful, strong, intelligent people. What is the proper order, do you think? Okay. So, the answer, what is the subject? What are we talking about? This one's quite the challenge. For my Spanish friends, ¿cuál es el sujeto? What is the subject? O, ¿cuál es la actividad? What is the activity? 
put your guesses, your comments, or your answers in the chat below. Maybe, mm. Yes, ma'am, Lily Red. My goodness, que tan inteligente ella. Watching television. So, ¿cuál es el sujeto? El actividad de ver en qué ves televisión. Mm -hmm. Watching television. ¿En cuál es el verbo? Is. Watching television is, thank you, entertaining. Watching television is entertaining, period. En vez de punto es period. Watching television is entertaining. Beautiful job. Excellent job, Kelly. And thank you, Ms. Lilibet. Excellent job. Beautiful. All right, let's look at number two. Crap, you guys. Television was no always on. On always. Give us House Sam's the Inn. También mira dos. This is also very heavy. Television was on always House Sam's the Inn. Okay, so again, what is our subject? ¿Cuál es nuestro sujeto? ¿Cuál es el verbo? And what is the verb? We'll give you a few moments. This is a challenge. Come on, Lorena, ya sabes. I feel like I know everybody. Did Kelly get it? Donde? I don't see the answers. Am I still? Ah, yeah, she did. I saw that. Okay, I will give you a hint. Mm? The television is the subject. The television. So, ¿cuál es el sujeto? The television. ¿Cuál es el verbo? What is the verb? The verb is in pasado. Is in the past tense is what? Was. Was. Mm -hmm. The television was. Que era? Let's go back to the reading and see if we can see the answer. Let's find the sentence in the paragraph. Thank you, Ms. Lilibet. Okay. The television was always on in Sam's house. On like prendido. Ah, 
For my Spanish speaking friends, Miss Duran and Miss Evie have informed me the word on is como prendido, como la luz está prendido, o mi televisión, mi computadora es prendido, right? In English, we have two word, two intentions for the word on. Puede ser por algo electrónico. It can be something for electronic, como la luz o mi computadora. Or it could be for a preposition like on. My cup is on the table. So puede ser my cup is on, como sobre. Or it can be on, como prendido. Prendido. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go back. So the television was prendido. Oh, prendida. Está prendida. Estaba prendida porque pasado. The television was on always. Okay. Always significa que siempre. Always. So we will put the word always before we put the word on. The television was always on in Sam's house, period. The television was always on in Sam's house. This was a hard one. All right, let's look at question number three. Sitcom, remember in series, comica, sitcoms, his were favorite uh, to watch. Okay. Sitcoms, his were favorite to watch. <laughs> okay. So, recuerden, es en pasado. ¿Cuál es el sujeto? What is the subject? Mm -hmm. What is the What is the verb? ¿Cuál es el verbo? What is the verb? No. What is his? His is the possessive, en español es posesivo, para él. This is the possessive for him. It cannot be his. Mm. So let's try again. Aha, sitcoms, okay? So sitcoms is nuestro sujeto. Were, beautiful Miss Lorena, were, okay? Sitcoms is a sujeto, muy bien, Lilibet. And then we have were, so sitcoms, were, okay? Favorito? Su favorito. Ah, ya. Pista. Es pista. Ah, ¿quieren una pista? Do you want a hint? Sitcoms were. Siguiente palabra, his, como su. His. Okay, so sitcoms were his favorite to watch. Ah, beautiful job, guys. Excellent. 
Sitcoms were his favorite to watch. Dejamos checar. Let's check. Perfect. Ah, uh, because of the end. But you got it right. Good job. Beautiful. Correct. Excellent. Okay. Ready? People. Yes. No puedo ver. Ooh, this is a good one. People bring can together watching television. All right. This one's a level two as well. But don't worry. We will have this as homework. And this will be the last one for today. Okay. People bring can together watching television. Our subject is like it was in the first one, watching television. Watching television is our subject. Watching television. Sometimes subjects can be activities. Sometimes a subject can be an activity. Um, a veces a sujeto puede ser una actividad. Sometimes a subject can be your activity. In this case, it's watching television. In my case, it will be eating food in two minutes because I am so hungry. <laughs> watching television. Okay. So what is our subject? First is the subject and then the verb. Our subject is watching television. So what is our verb? Karen, Carlita, anybody? Going to eat a hint. All right. A hint, not eat. We're going to do a hint. Can. Can de poder. De poder. De poder. Like you can. I can eat a lot of food. Can. Watching television can que, puede que. Watching television can Okay. So, what's our subject? Nuestra actividad. Watching television. What is our verb? Yes, Kelly, it is can. Can is our verb. So what is the object? Watching television puede que. Que puede hacer? What can it do? Now, we didn't talk about this yet, but the word can is a auxiliary. Somebody said can together. Kelly said can. Can is our verb, but with the word can you need another verb okay bring yes lily beth it is bring watching television can bring okay try que bring what does it bring watching television can bring mm -hmm. Beautiful job, Lorena. Excellent job. Watching people, watching television can bring people together. People together. I let's put all that together, period. And correct. Beautiful job. Watching television can bring people together. Most excellent. Okay, 
that is everything for today. I thank you for your time and your patience. You are more than I deserve. Next Monday, we will have class. The last Monday was, was a holiday. But this Monday, there is, there's class in Spanish. Uh, este siguiente lunes vamos a tener la clase, once y media. We'll have the class at 11.30. We'll see you in class, and don't forget to practice, 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 because practice makes perfect. Thank you.